Hey everyone, so I just wanted to help with some instructions here for the Horticulture Math Parts 1 and Part 2. They are two different assignments, um, but I thought I would go ahead and do the instructions all in one video um, since they're pretty similar types of assignments. Um, if you are having trouble as you're going through this and you need help with the instructions being explained to you, I recommend just keeping this open as you're going along and playing and pausing as you're going through each one to kind of help. Um, but again, like I'll say at the end of the video, you can always um, get help from me outside of these videos if you need them. So we're talking about math as it's applied in horticulture. So these are different types of word problems that are related to principles in horticulture. This first one, uh, Mr. Conroy has asked you to help set up a new lawn for Hope Street Academy by laying down some grass seed. New lawns need five pounds of grass seed for every 1,000 square feet. How many pounds of grass seed are needed to start Mr. Conroy's new lawn? So we're using this figure here, figure 5-1. So really important, show your calculations for everything that you're doing. Um, I can't stress that enough because that's what's going to be giving you a lot of the credit for what you're looking at here. So if we're looking at this figure, I went ahead and I gave the steps for each one. So calculate the area of the, of the lawn. The area is width times height. So again, you're going to take um, your width and your height from there, multiply them by each other. Divide the area by 1,000 square feet. So taking your figure from 1, dividing it by 1,000. And then for number 3, multiply by 5 pounds. Again, we said it needs 5 pounds of seed for every 1,000 square feet. So that's going to give us our final figure um, for how much grass seed is needed. So down here, Miss Frisbee has insisted that Mr. Conroy needs a specific grass blend for the school's new lawn. She has a 10 pound bag with the following percentages. So 30% Parade Kentucky grass, 25% Creeping Red Fescue, 30% Annual Rye grass, and 15% Shadow Chewing Fescue. How many pounds of each variety of grass seed are found in the bag? Show your calculations. Here are the steps you need to take to figure out the problem. So number one, convert the number of pounds in Miss Frisbee's bag to ounces. There are 16 ounces in a pound. So again, Think about how many pounds it is, and you're going to multiply it by 16 to be able to convert it. Number two, convert each percent in the mixture to its decimal equivalent. So, for example, if something were 25%, the decimal would be 0.25. So, again, it's only taking the decimal, like in 25, and moving it by 2, because, again, we're thinking of it out of 100. So 0.25 would be the decimal version of 25%. So you're taking those numbers, multiply each decimal equivalent, so the numbers here from step two, one for each of the different types of graphs, by the total number of ounces in the mixture, so the number from step number one. So you're multiplying each one of them by this number that you got from number one here for number three. And then number four, convert the number of ounces back to pounds for each part of the blend. There are 16 ounces in a pound. So again, after you get your numbers here on number three, you will have your number of ounces. So again, knowing that there are 16 ounces in a pound, to get the figure back in pounds again, you're going to divide each one by 16 to get uh, basically a smaller number that indicates how many pounds you'll need for each one. So that's part one. Once you get that done, that'll be part one. So let's look here at part two. So Mr. Knoll thinks he has found a cheaper seed mix than Miss Frisbee's. He has the following table to try and price the new blend. So again, table 5-1 here has pricing for a few different types of grass. Mr. Knoll suggests the following blend in a six-pound bag to Mr. Conroy. 40% Eclipse Kentucky Bluegrass, 35% Omega-2 Perennial Ryegrass, 25% Penny Lynx uh, Creeping Bentgrass. How expensive is this six-pound blend Mr. Knoll found? Show your calculations. Here are the steps you need to take to figure out the problem. So... Find out how many ounces the six pound bag is. Again, 16 ounces in a pound, so it's a multiplication part here to do 16 ounces times six for the number of pounds in the bag. Then convert each percentage in the mixture to its decimal equivalent. This is the same thing we did before. So if we're thinking of 25%, again, the decimal equivalent is 0.25. So you'll do that for all three types of grass. Then multiply the decimal equivalent for each percent in the mixture. So these numbers from step two by the number of ounces in the bag, so the number from step one. So this will give you, um, <clears throat> excuse me, basically the number of ounces for each of these different types of grass in the mix. 
Number four, find the price of one ounce of each variety of seed using table 5-1. For example, if omega-2 perennial ryegrass is 210 per pound, it is also 210 for 16 ounces. So divide the cost of each variety of seed by 16 to get the price per ounce. So again, if we're going back up to this table, again, you really only need to focus on this part of the table that says one pound. One pound is 16 ounces. So the omega-2 perennial ryegrass, so you would take that 210 divided by 16 to get the, <clears throat> excuse me, the figure that we are looking for here in number four. So you're going to do that for each one of these types of graphs. Basically the price per pound divided by 16. Then number five, multiply the ounces of each variety of seeds, the numbers from step three, by the respective price per ounce, the numbers from step four. So that's going to give you the prices for each part of the mix. And then add all the numbers from step number five to get the total price. So once you've got five one, five two, and five three, add them together, that's going to give you the total price. And finally, down here, Miss Kaufman has brought in a 50-pound bag of a 2016-16 fertilizer for the lawn. She wants to know how many total pounds of nitrogen will be present in the bag. She knows the three numbers indicate what percent of the fertilizer is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, respectively. So again, the 20 is nitrogen, 16 is phosphorus, 16 is potassium. With the other 48% just being filler, stuff that's different. So how many pounds of nitrogen are in the bag? Show your calculations. So here are the steps you need to take to figure out the problem. So the first part is just going to be to convert the percent of nitrogen in the mixture to its decimal equivalent. Again, if we were thinking of 25%, this would be 0.25 if we were converting it. And then number two, multiply the decimal equivalent of the nitrogen, the number from step number one. So again, just focusing on the 20% there by the total number of pounds in the bag. So again, it's a 50 pound bag. So just a simple multiplication problem at that point. So I know it's a lot, it's a lot of math too, which is a little bit outside of the focus for what we've normally been looking at in horticulture, but um, it's split up into two different assignments. I'm confident that all of you should be able to do this one without too much problems if, if you're able to follow the instructions pretty closely. If you do have any problems with it, again, please feel free to call me, email me, or hop into our science department office hours every Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. on Zoom.